So here is our story start. Again you buy those fishy flowers. Are you mad? Don't you know you have an allergy with Lily? Shouted Noah. But Lily is her favorite flower. Replied Eric. Shut up for God's sake. Forget that bitch. She's a bit frail like her father. She doesn't deserve your love. Just forget her. Again Noah shouted. A tear dropped from Eric's eye. No, she's not a bit frail. Eric replied. Noah took the bucket of Lily and threw it in the spring. Why you are doing like this, Noah? Eric told. Oh, shut up and listen to me. Tomorrow we have to go somewhere. Noah said. But where? Eric asked. Seriously? You forget about that black day? First God took our mother because of disease and after we lost our father. Noah said. I still cannot believe the three uncle can do this. Eric said. He is nothing for us. He will never life. Stop to call him uncle. Noah shouted on Eric. Again Noah was getting the flashbacks of that black day. But what happened on that day? Who is Timothy and how he is related with their father? Let's go on in Noah's mind. The day, 20th March. Noah was cooking for the lunch and suddenly her father's phone rang. Her dad picked the phone. Hello Mr. David, please come to our secret place. Timothy sir wants to meet you. Someone said on the other side of phone. Yes, sir. I am coming. Mr. Davin replied. Bye, Noah. I will be back in the evening. Take care of yourself and Eric. Mr. Davin said with a smile. Okay, Dad. We will wait for you. Bye. Noah replied. After many hours, it seemed, but Mr. Davin still did not arrive. Noah and Eric was waiting. Noah was now tensed. She told to Eric, Dad went to meet the mystery uncle, but now it's too much time passed. Where? Eric asked to Noah. I don't know, but someone was telling about a secret place. Noah replied. Eric knew about that place. Quickly, he took Noah and went to that secret place, which was only for intelligence department. Noah started to cry because she got her father's body, which was shooted by someone. Eric was in a shock. He was not realizing he lost his father. Suddenly, Noah found a letter beside her father, which was an order of encounter of Mr. Davin. This order was signed by Mr. Dimitri. Eric cannot believe. Dimitri uncle cannot do this. They are an honest officer. Even our father was working for him as assistant. In the department, we should go to the department and ask Dimitri uncle. Eric said. Now Noah only had her a brother, Eric, who is also her twin. If Mr. Dimitri uncle could murder my father, he can do with my mother too. I cannot lose him. Noah was thinking in her mind. She refused to go at department. He ran our life and you have to accept it, Eric. He is a fake man who has only an image of honest officer, Noah said with anger. Now Eric was with Noah. He wanted a revenge from Mr. Dimitri, but something in his mind refused to do it. Because his father, Mr. Davin, was an honest man and they always called Mr. Dimitri as a friend. They never said any bad thing about Mr. Dimitri, but still Noah's tear made him impulsive. Noah took Eric and went to another place. She left her home because she did not want to lose Eric. Now come to the present time. Noah, Noah, Eric shouting. Suddenly Noah broke her, thinking about that day. Okay, I understand my sister. Don't stress too much about anything. Eric said it with a smile. No one can believe it. You are a manager of wedding decorating company and is still single. Eric is in Noah. Shut up. Noah replied. Suddenly someone knocked the door. Noah opened the door. That is David. Noah told. Oh David, come, come. Eric said. Okay, I am going for the work. Take care of yourself and don't go anywhere without telling me, Eric. Said Noah with care. Bye. Eric said to Noah. Of course your sister hides you. But everyone knows that you are a sharpshooter. And my boss is very impressed with you. But before the meeting, you have a task to do. David said to Eric. I never met your boss. Even I don't know about him. I'm doing your work just because of Noah. Because she don't want I go outside for another work. And you know, I am a shooter but I never kill anyone. I can only make them in coma for some weeks because my father never taught me to kill anyone. Eric told it to David. Okay, I got it. 
but here is someone's order tomorrow you have to go in a wedding ceremony and you have to shoot the bride but if you killed her you could get 10 million dollars too said david no no thanks eric said but how could i recognize her eric said she will be in bride's get up but don't tell anyone about this not to even boss because this is another one's order but he is also like my boss david says to eric okay i got it your work will be done eric next morning wake up eric we have to go for the prayer and rituals no i shouted they both went for the ritual where first they prayed to god and apologized for their sins and after that the, they went to their father's graveyard to show their respect and love after the ritual they arrived to the home today eric was not feeling good noa it's important to go for work today i'm not feeling good please take care of yourself eric yeah it's important to go for work cuz i am with the manager uh but don't worry rosen is with me you know rosen right who wants to marry you she is my friend and she will be good for you noah if not her then no one by the way you have to inform me if you have any problem and today i'm going for a work which is related to my shooting so don't worry about me eric said to noah let's go to the wedding venue Eric fixed the gun on the spot and was preparing for his prank. He was waiting for the bride to enter and now the wedding started. Bride was coming. Her face was on the opposite side so Eric was not targeting her. But his eyes only on the radar of the gun and suddenly the bride moves. Eric got her face. His body was freezed. A numbness on his face appeared. His eyes were getting wet. But suddenly someone shooted the bride at the hard spot. She was falling. Eva, Eric shouted and started to run towards her. People got panicked because of the shoot. Eric held her on his lap. Eva, no one can harm you. I am with you. Nothing will happen to you. Eric told with the tears in his eyes. No one can replace you, Eric, in my life. Eva is only of yours. Telling Eva. with touching his face and suddenly she fainted eric took her in arms and started to run towards the hospital let's make a pov yeah she is ivara love of eric and daughter of mr dimitri but who shot ivara and who ordered eric to shoot Eric arrived to hospital admitted her after half hour doctor come to Eric we have removed the blood from the body but she need blood otherwise we could not save her doctor said take it mine all blood but nothing would be happen to Ivara Eric told to doctor with numbness you have a negative blood group if not then call her family and give us immediately it's an emergency He still had the Mitri number on his phone. Immediately he called to Mr. Dimitri. Someone picked the phone or call. Hello, I am the assistant of Mr. Dimitri. Someone said, "Please give the phone to Mr. Dimitri. It's an emergency." Eric, "We are in hospital and Mr. Dimitri are paralyzed. He is sleeping. Please, how can I help you?" Assistant of Mr. Dimitri said to Eric. Eric cut the phone because he knew how much eva loved her dad and this news could take his father's life suddenly he remember about noah yes noah has one negative blood group he called to noah please come to my location i need your help eric said to noah what happened you are okay now asked noah yes i am fine you just come to here said eric because he knew noah would never help if she get to know it's for ivara okay i am coming It had been half hour and Noah did not arrive. Mr. Eric, we have only 10 minutes otherwise we could not save her. Dr. said to Eric. He was trying to call Noah but her phone was now out of reach. He was on the knees and crying. Suddenly someone called Eric. Eric hugged him tightly. 
Please save her. I cannot lose her," said Eddie, with tears in his eyes. But who is he? He was Edwin, the only one who knew about Eric and Ivara both. Ivara was like his sister, and Eric was his best friend. Coincidentally, his blood group was O negative too. I will save her, Edwin. He gave the blood to Ivara. Again, the operation started. Suddenly, Eric's phone rang. Eric was lost, so Edwin picked the call. That was by Noah's name. Before Edwin, someone told on the phone, "Hello, Mr. Eric. Come to the secret place and give us Ivara. Otherwise, you could lose your sister." And cut the phone. Edwin knew Eric could be in danger, so he decided to go there. But he don't know about the place, so he asked to Eric with a normal face. Eric, you told me you are working for someone, so of course you meet him at any specific or secret place. Edwin asked to Eric, "I ah, uh, I get order by assistant of his. I did not meet him. I did not met him. But yeah, we have a secret place to meet. That is the north side of forest near the intelligence department." Eric said. I was just normally asking. By the way. I will be back in few minutes. I have to meet someone," told Edwin. Edwin informed the police and went to the secret place. David saw the police and informed Jace. Let's make up your. Who is Jace? Jace, the boss of gangster and drug dealer. Jace shooted Noah and ran with his gang. Edwin got Noah, but she was fainted. Edwin admitted Noah in department's hospital, but now she is in coma. Edwin called to Eric. Hello, Eric. Someone shot at Noah, and now she is in coma. After getting the news, Eric broke into pieces. Let's make a POV. And who is Jace? What is the relation between Jace and Ivara? Why he wants Ivara, and why he shot at Noah? Let's see in another part of the story. This story is fictional but there is some points related to me but the story is not related with me thank you for watching